you, my sister Hanya. Hi. Today we are going to read an English story. Its name is The Pied Piper of Hamelin. Pied Piper of Hamelin. Once upon a time, there was a little town called Hamelin. The people of Hamelin were very noble, but they were careless of keeping their houses clean. Lack of cleanliness attracted rats to Hamelin. It won't be wrong to say that rats had become a terror for the people of Hamelin. To get rid of the rats, people used traps and wayward cats and dogs, but nothing at all worked. Feeling helpless, the residents got together and went to the mayor of the town. The mayor made an announcement. The person who finds a solution to this problem will be rewarded. A few days later, a stranger holding a fluted pipe requested to see the mayor. Who are you? asked the mayor. I'm the pipe piper. If you pay me a thousand silver coins, I'll rid your town of all the rats, replied the man. The mayor agreed. The pipe piper started to play a melodious tune and chanted by the melody, the rats streamed out of every house. They followed him, dancing along to the tune of his pipe. The piper reached the river and stepped into its water. In no time, all the rats mesmerized by his tune fell into the river and drowned. When all the rats had perished, the pipe piper went to the mayor and asked, for his prize. But the mayor mocked at him and said you did nothing. The rats got drowned in the river current. The piper got very angry and said you are going back on your promise. You will have to pay very heavily for this. And he left the place. The next morning the pipe piper walked out into the street and began to play a soft musical tune. It magically attracted the children of Hamelin, and they began to follow him just as the rats had done. The children danced, jumped, and followed the piper. All of them soon reached the foot of the nearby high mountain. The pipe piper brought the captivated children towards a big mountain. All of a sudden, an android soared up in the rock. When all the children had entered inside, the door got closed by itself. Among the children, there was a little boy who had hurt his leg and could not keep pace with the other children. Having been left far behind, he hadn't entered the rock. The small boy made his way back to the town. He told the people of Hamelin all that had happened. The parents of children wailed aloud and ran to the town mayor. The mayor was ashamed of breaking his promise. He begged the piper to be kind and forgive him. The parents also pleaded to return our children for God's sake. Pi Piper came out with all the children. The people of Hamlin thanked him. The mayor paid him a thousand silver coins. He had learned his lesson never to be ungrateful and greedy. The end. The moral of the story is never to break your promise, be greedy or unthankful. Hope you like the story.